Hey everybody. Happy Monday night. We made it made it through another Monday. So tonight I am going to be one of our new transfers. I'm gonna ink some candles for myself. And as always we cut these apart. You can uh, any time you see these little lines that kind of divide um, your transfers up into different pictures, that's your cut line. Before we get started, I like to label the back of my transfer with what the transfer is. Um, and that does a couple of things. It reminds me of what the transfer is on the other side and also um, what the back of the backing is. Because one side is super shiny, works really well for, you know, sticking the transfer on the other one. You stick the transfer on it and stick a little too hard. Hi, Robin. So, I got these controls at IKEA. Um, so, you kind of at IKEA, Target, Walmart, anywhere you can find your sour or flower sack towels, um, your kitchen towels, anything like that. I am using, um, this is the chalk or ink mat. It is sticky. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, and it's really nice. What it does is just helps hold your fabric in place while you ink. Um, you can use cardboard. I've used cardboard before I got you started using the ink mat. Um, anything just to help protect, you know, whatever your surface is, your or what with your um, towel or shirt, if you're doing a shirt and you want to put something inside that shirt so it doesn't um, lead through to the back. So we are going to start with this towel. And we'll be using the ink tonight because the ink is what you use on fabric. Um, the ink can be heat set permanent. The paste is not is semi permanent, so it um, ink will dry or the paste will dry to the touch, but it can wash can be washed off with water. But with the ink, you heat set that permanent with an iron. So this, this cloth here is one of the Chocotour, um fuzzing cloths, and you don't have to fuzz a ton when you're on um, using fabric or doing fabric, just because it's already. Um, you're not going to stick too hard to it, but you also want to be careful that you fuzz a little bit so that, that it peels off smoothly. And just apply it. Make sure there's no bubbles. And this is the Tide ink. I love that color. And with the ink, less is more. Um, with the paste, you can kind of... Um, glob it on and with the ink you want to start out less you can always come back it's a good idea with the ink to try to head in one direction if you can um, it helps with um, preventing some of that bleeding that can sometimes happen with depending on what you're what you're inking on and how well you have made sure that the transfer is adhered to the um, the fabric or the surface that you're inking on. Again, just the ink, you can take your time a little bit and just cover the surface gently. As a reminder, our transfers are reusable. So when I'm done with this, the transfer I will just wash with water and then um, wipe the sticky side off with a disinfectant wipe. Let it dry, put it back on the backing that I wrote um, the name of the transfer on, so I know which side I put it back on. And then I will be ready to use this next time. Now these, tra these transfers also fit great on our um, new board and base, or our board and base and then our pillar. A little more ink up there. Um, our board and pillar. I 
And this one says, see, and this is the problem I have with the ink, and that's and it's all me. It has nothing to do with with the ink. I tend to be more gentle than I probably need to be. Um, so I, I don't get it pushed through the screen that is the part of the transfer. Um, as well as I should sometimes end up when they're a little bit faded. And like I said, that's that's all me being more gentle than I need to be. More cautious, I suppose you could say. Let's try that. There we go. And this one says, I love hugs, I love kisses, but I what I really like is help with the dishes. Yes, help with the dishes. Always nice. All right, so that one's done. And I'm just going to kind of roll this out of the way. Try not to touch that because that is wet. So until that dries, and you can dry it with a hair dryer, you can just give it time to dry before you set heat set it. Um, when it comes to heat setting, I will take the iron and um, turn the iron to setting or cut. Uh, iron it for four minutes with parchment paper covering the surface or the image. Um, iron it for four minutes on one side. Turn it over. Still have parchment paper and iron it for another four minutes. You do want to because fabrics are a little when they're a little thinner. Um, it's easy if you sit in one place too long with the iron to start to um, burn, burn your towel, and then it gets a little discolored. Again, so we got the next transfer. Again, we're gonna. Ink that, or fuzz that, sorry. And this one says, bake it and they will come. The other fun thing I like to do is bake, and I can promise you that if I bake, my children are another. So this is a very true statement in my house. And again, just take the paste. Or the ink, sorry. Spread that on, and this time I'll be a little more forceful with my application. Make sure it gets pushed through that screen. And that screen is placed wherever you see that white surface come through there. That's where the screen is at. You know, and as you can see, some of these projects go pretty quick. Get that E finished there. And here I'm breaking my own rule of trying to go in one direction. And with the ink, you have a little more time because it doesn't dry as fast. The paste you need to um, move a little quicker because if it dries, it will potentially pull up when you peel your transfer up. But with the ink, it doesn't dry as fast, so you have a little more time. All right, and now we can peel that one up. And so that is today's project. Again, I will let this dry and then I will iron it with my iron um, at medium setting for four minutes on each side with parchment paper in between the iron and the towel. Um, some people do have those um, easy presses. I have yet to find a um, exact temperature at which you should use those at. Um, I know that everybody says 30 seconds for sure, um, but I've seen multiple um, uh, temperatures for that and they recommend just reading the temperature guide on the easy press itself.
Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, go ahead and get your own kitchen towels. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.